Yeah, if I can, my plan is, I've had one of these apart before and I've been looking at pictures, I'm pretty sure I can fit inch shafts into the casing pretty easily. Uh, I'll have to bore out some of the holes just a little bit everywhere, but then I should be able to just run a solid shaft all the way through and just weld it to the crown gear, I think it's called. Just weld it straight through. Um, it'd be locked, but it'd be a lot stronger axle. Um, or I can machine the ends down to slot inside of the diff gears and make it so it does have a diff. Um, then, of course, the hubs, I'll just bore them out to 25mm and put a proper keyway into them instead of just a bolt. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. I've took this one apart before because the circlips I had come off inside. So this ain't my first time pulling it apart. So that's the plan anyway. I've looked at the, there is a stronger, is a stronger peerless transmission. This one is an 801 um, transmission. I can't tell you the exact serial number because it's missing, but I know it's an 801 gearbox. Um, everyone on the internet says the 820 is like the beast. It's got inch shafts and it's meant to put, it's meant to be ground engaging. It's meant to be a ground engaging transfer box, transmission. Um, but I can't find one in the UK. So unless one of you lot who are listening uh, know where I can get one, but I doubt it, um, leave us a comment. Um, but for my search, I think I'm going to have to just convert this into a bigger axle. That's all I can do, I think, because I can get another one of these axles, I can get another mower, but I, it's just going to do this again. I Honestly, they, like I said before, don't know how it happened, I just pulled off the wheel and that was already broken. So I've got the, both case halves, I need to bolt back together, nice and solid. And then I have got my 25mm drill bit that will hopefully go through the middle of it. Well, hopefully it will go deep enough to sort out any clearance issues. Uh, most of the aluminium is already bigger than an inch, so that's not a problem. Um, just these little bits where bushes in that used to sit. So I'll be drilling it out to an inch. And then my new inch shaft is just here. So that is... Nice and massive compared to the old one. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that now, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I've drilled out the ends and all the way through it, bored it out to 25mm exactly. So now that shaft runs nicely in there, it's got a nice snug fit. Um, it is currently... I have tested it with all the bolts tightened up anyway. That's all good. Um, but my next problem was this centre diff, where in the past I've had it where... Uh, well, this was a replacement axle before. Um, I've got the old one over there now, the original out of the, out of the mower. This was a replacement I bought because basically I dropped the clutch with it after fitting a new pulley to it. Um, it popped the sickest wheelie and then blew the diff up. Um, I got a few photographs of it. I even got, I've even got the gear somewhere, I just don't know where I've put it. But uh, anyway, so this is a replacement axle. Tried to get the old wheels off and I broke the circlips off so I ended up having to weld these gears into place, which is fine. Other than when you need to take them out to try and make a new thing out of it, like I'm trying to do now. So, uh, yeah, so this is now no good. But in the old box, which is covered in cobwebs and all sorts, is hopefully the piece I require, which, if I'm not mistaken, that will do what I need to do. All I've got to do is bore that out to an inch, and then weld it solid to the shaft, I think. That's all I have to do. And then that will be a good little box then. Okay, it's all built up now. 
Uh, this is the final design anyway, hopefully it'll hold itself together. Is it in gear? It is. You can see when I spin this, that spins, and the other way. So that's all now driving. So, yeah, that is a solid shaft now. There's no diff, it's a solid axle, straight through. Um, the plan is to use these bearings to help carry the weight of whatever's on the back of the mower. So none of the weight goes onto the actual axle, so the aluminium casing shouldn't have as much stress. stress. Um, all the stress hopefully gets put onto these bearings here. Um, yeah, that's all I can really show you. Um, I don't know what else I videoed or took pictures of. I took a few pictures, I didn't video much because I just wanted to get this over and done with. It's starting to get late now. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so that'll bolt onto the, I'll make a little frame up for this to, a bit of angle on or something, onto the chassis to hold that. And yeah, it'll hold the weight of the wheel. And those stub axles sticking out are, now that it's finished, Six and a half inches long. It's about the same each side, I think. Yeah, just under six and a half. Okay, six and a half inches. And then the original ones were. Is that in the right place? Yeah, it is, yeah. So originally they were at five and three quarters. So I shall, I'll be fine for that. All I gotta do is cut a proper keyway now into the. Uh, hubs that I have, there you go. Hopefully I've got plenty of key weight. That one runs the whole way, the other side though, runs most of the way. It's because this, this axle is designed for a go-kart, so here's meant to be a gear, and then on the end, which I cut off, here, then on the end, you'd have a, a wheel, basically, on the other side. And anyway, yeah, so, it's all looking good anyway. 